Aquarius. You need to know this right now for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Aquarius, Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So Aquarius could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after an ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Aquarius. Clarify death for Aquarius. Clarify death for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now here's where truth comes out. It's swift. It's bitter. It's harsh. It's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Aquarius, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Aquarius could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Aquarius. Clarify justice for Aquarius. Clarify justice for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Aquarius, you can tell me you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Now, Aquarius, you can tell me that something wasn't fair, balance, or just, and you guys are having this passionate, heated discussion or argument in a confrontation here, and things may be ending. Aquarius, you can tell me that you're confronting someone here and maybe initiating something in the justice system to end things. Aquarius, you can tell me that you feel like something wasn't fair, balance, or just, and there is a confrontation taking place. Because they started a passionate beginning and you may be ending things with them. However, Aquarius, 
Someone may be wanting to come in and right a wrong and start new after an ending and set the record straight so that you guys can have this passionate new beginning. Aquarius, you have the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Aquarius, you can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you guys are having this conversation. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using the sword to sever. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Swords. For Aquarius, clarify the Ace of Swords. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Uh huh. Yeah. So Aquarius, I do feel like you guys are having some type of communication here. I also feel like maybe some type of truth and clarity has come out, and this is the reason for the confrontation. You could also tell me that you're making a decision here. Okay. So maybe use this sword to sever an in Aquarius. You have the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Aquarius could be dealing with a Pisces. But you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon. For Aquarius, clarify the moon. For Aquarius, clarify the moon. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Five of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is conflict, this is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama, but this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Aquarius, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama is taking place here. Now Aquarius, you can tell me that you're using your intuition on the action you need to take because you're conflicted within. Aquarius, you can tell me some type of secret came out here and it's causing some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, or drama between you guys. Some type of truth and clarity could be coming out. Aquarius, you have the King of Swords. This is you, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Aquarius, this is you. Clarify the king of swords for Aquarius. Clarify the king of swords for Aquarius. What about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So Aquarius, you can tell me that someone's coming in to apologize. However, someone may be coming in with some type of romantic gesture. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. 
This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Aquarius, you could be getting their attention. They could be getting your attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here or this is an announcement being made. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're making a decision to get their attention or make an announcement and apologize or come with some type of romantic gesture or an announcement. Aquarius, you can tell me that they're getting your attention and apologizing here and you're having to make a decision. This is turning romantic. And the thing is, I would say, okay, as the King of Wands here, that energy initiating something here, maybe wanting to go to the justice of the peace and transform things. No longer are we dating, now we're engaged, no longer engaged, now we're married. But I can't say that because there is a confrontation taking place here. Or someone wanting to set the record straight. Aquarius, you have the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love, a brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing, a brand new blessing, a brand new beginning in love. So Aquarius, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here? Clarify the Ace of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Cups. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Aquarius, very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation, something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Aquarius. Clarify the tower for Aquarius. Clarify the tower for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Aquarius, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're shocked. You didn't see this coming. That they want to start this new era in love with you. That makes you question whether or not you want to remain single or not. I don't know, some type of proposal here. and Maybe you're having to make a decision, okay? Mm. Maybe they're coming in to set the record straight and... Uh, you're all ears here, okay? Needing to answer. However, Aquarius, you can tell me there's been a shocking revelation of them having new love here. That's the secret that's coming out. That They started a passionate new beginning somewhere. And you're breaking things down here and becoming single. But even if they're apologizing, I mean, even if things are breaking down, they're still trying to apologize here. And maybe you're just having to make a decision and voice this decision. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Aquarius. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says, cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. Cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. What else for Aquarius? What else for Aquarius? And it says, come together, reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract. Come together, reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract. 
If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aquarius, you need to know this right now for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.